Thank you very much. And um, I'll be mercifully brief this time, dear Alok. Um, you know, my, my favorite Glaswegian is a man called Billy Connolly. He's a monument of humor and humanity. And he once said that Scotland has two seasons, June and winter. Um, sadly, we were not able to verify whether that's true. But what we do know, uh, being here in Glasgow, that we need to be thankful to the citizens of, of Glasgow and of Scotland to uh, have been our hosts um, in the last uh, couple of weeks. And if someone doesn't believe in the possibility of transition, they should talk to people who knew Glasgow in the 1980s and then look at Glasgow today. Glaswegians have completed a miracle in transforming their city from a, an industrial old city into this vibrant modern city where it's just a delight uh, to walk around. But Billy Connolly also taught me never to become cynical. Um, and Billy Connolly is also somebody who lived uh, and lives according to um, what Churchill said about success, uh, walking from failure to failure, uh, uh, never losing your good humor. And I have to say, being in this process, you need something of that. And what you did, Alok, in the last two years, not walking from failure to failure, but never losing your sense of humor and your good humor, and that was extremely important to get us where we are now. now my colleagues have said everything that needs to be said about the content of what we have decided. And the fact that we said on the outset we need to keep 1.5 alive and that we've achieved that is of historic importance, historic importance. But to people outside of this room, 1.5 very often doesn't mean anything. But to be able to say to our children, to our citizens, listen, if we do what we promise here, Humanity will learn to live within planetary boundaries, which means that there is a prosperous, safe future for every human being on this planet. And I think that is a promise, that is a promise that we should keep, which means that we can savor the success of today for an hour or two, go out and have a wiki or something else. We deserve that, you certainly deserve that. But tomorrow the work starts again so that we continue in the same pace to make sure that when we meet each other again in Sharm el-Sheikh, we can say, yes, we're on 1.5. And that's what we've agreed today. So all those of us who sometimes lose hope that the multilateral system can deliver should watch what happened today. Almost 200 countries coming together on an agenda of such ambition that we have not seen since Paris. And that gives me hope. That gives me the hope that I can tell my kids and my grandson we can actually achieve something for you, not for us. We are not in this for us, but for you. And I want to thank all the colleagues here who've contributed to this. And I'll give you one promise. It doesn't stop here. It only starts. Thank you very much.